Five Points Gaming here, and we are gonna do this now. And right now, we're back with another game in our One Last Ride series where we are searching for that elusive Division One title, and it has been a grind again. Uh, this is the second episode. I'm 1-0 and in Division 1, and uh, let me tell you, man, it's not easy. If you've won a Division 1 championship, you are a hell of an NHL 16 online hut player. And here we go. We're getting started off here. I'm going to show you again the first minute or, or two of the game, and then the key highlights, and then the last minute of the game, and we'll see uh, who comes out on top. And let me tell you, I did not win every game uh, going for this Division One championship. This is going to be a nail-biting series. Every game is close, probably because I make it close because I could be better. But I was actually looking at some game film from before of uh, my, you know, when I went to won a Division Four or Division Five championship, and the way I play is not even the same in terms of how I'm attacking uh, their four check or um, or their uh, skaters when they come into my zone, how I'm I'm possessing the puck when I go into their zone, and basically overall uh, my my strategy and gameplay. Now I do want to talk about a couple things related to hockey. It is the All Star break. And uh, we're headed into <laughs> the time period where it's a stretch run and we're going to see some trades and we're going to see players move. This happens every year. I think last year there was there weren't too many blockbusters. You know, the, the Rangers picked up Keith Yandel at the deadline. Um, you know, there, there weren't any, you know, huge names that moved necessarily. I think for this year, you're not going to see uh, teams really blow up their teams. I, I think most teams are going to stand pat. I, I don't see the Caps doing much in there. There's that one T in the slot, and I am down one nothing here. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, players using Camilleri. I've seen a lot of Caps jerseys lately in, in HUD. I've seen a lot of uh, Montreal jerseys. Montreal's in a lot of trouble. Um, I'm thinking that if they don't make the playoffs, that Michelle Terrian's job is in serious jeopardy right here but here I think he's working around this guy look at his squad is basically you know uh, one thing I've noticed is I have a stack squad in division one there he rattles the post thing fries are not done um, I've noticed that in division one yeah I have a stack team and they have a stack team here Jeff Carter trying to get away on the breakaway and cannot score in the backhand but yeah what now um, the the only teams that necessarily <coughs> Ooh, look at him uh, that was Giroux try to slam it in but then Taylor Hall puts in the equalizer um, the, the teams that worry me, <clears throat> excuse me, I always cough. Whenever I start talking, I guess the moisture builds up in my throat. Um, anyways, uh, the teams that worry me are when they have a bunch of legends on that first line when I'm like, uh, Curry, Bure, and Madonna. I'm like, all right, this guy's got some serious cake. Actually, I did see a team online the other day, speaking of trades, uh, etc. that had, he had every Movember card possible including a Movember Ovechkin which is now up to 97 with that all-star um, card coming out wow what I mean what kind of dough do you spend to have an all Movember team I just I can't imagine spending two three thousand dollars on your hut team but you know some people are rich and maybe it's a an NHL player <laughs> or some dot-com kid or or somebody that who's on who's parents are unaware that they're spending that much money here I'm on the power play third period about eight minutes left let's get back to the game yeah I don't see the Rangers doing much uh, you see the top contenders I don't see uh, there it is who's that uh, Robitaille with the uh, cross crease snipe to the top right corner and uh, about five minutes left here uh, we're trying to hold on and stay in for this game. A turnover in front of the net. Oh, what a save by Lundqvist. What a save. And that preserves the lead for now with a minute to go. And we're looking to go 2-0. It's very critical that you get off to at least a 2-0 start in Division 1. Because if you start 1-1 or 0-1 or even 0-2, you're pretty much done. Because you have to win uh, essentially eight games in Division 1 and uh, to win a title. And if you don't do that, uh, you can go 7-1-2, I believe, or 6-0-3. And 
three or six oh and four and that's it so one loss is absolutely huge in division one and when you suffer a loss in division one it puts all the doubt on you to think that you can win it because yeah not everybody's like uh bacon country where he can just go eight no and just call it a day i mean you're playing the top competition look at this guy's squad i mean i think i have a pretty good squad look at this guy's squad there's a guy out there with every movember and you don't even realize it until you're playing and you're just like holy crap but it looks like we're gonna hold on for this 2-1 win yes every game pretty much in the series is within a goal so i hope you enjoyed this video yeah we're going for one last ride we're building for that championship building up look at Luke Robitaille right here snipe snipe it top corner in the net and that's it we are 2 and 0 in the series hopefully we'll see what happens uh, hopefully it'll be a fun all-star game John Scott will be there Alex Ovechkin is not he, he's faking an injury which is smart if you ask me I wouldn't want my primary asset out there tooling around in three on three hockey but here we go 2 and 0 hope you enjoyed this video five points I'm out